Are you looking for a 3D printer that is fully enclosed, has some multicolor, and has some other cool knickknacks? Well, the Anycubic Cobra S1, right here on Zagri 3D Prints. Hey, Zach here, and welcome to this video. Yes, next to me, as mentioned in the intro, the Anycubic Cobra S1 Combo. How did I get it? Well, geekbuying.com reached out to me several months ago if I was interested in using this 3D printer on my channel, make a video about it, make two, three videos about it, and give my thoughts and ideas about this 3D printer and also promoting their website as well. It's how it goes. No money has been ex exchanged for a better review. I also don't want to be in any affiliate program for geekbuying.com. Maybe I can, but I won't. Let's give my thoughts and ideas about this. A Core XY 3D printer, fully enclosed, nice little door that doesn't break, and also the Ace Pro unit. I have a little thing that I ask geekbuying.com um, to send two Ace Pro units. I receive also two, but there was a little thing with it, which I come back in a later stage of this video. So let's dive into what I think about Anycubic Cobra S1. Let me talk about the specs first. So the Anycubic Cobra S1, fully enclosed, like mentioned several times, a Core XY 3D printer with on paper some really nice speeds, which I have also a little remark on. Uh, 600 millimeters per second, 20K acceleration, look all nice on paper. 320 degrees for the hot end. It's a direct drive hot end, um, as you might expect for this type of 3D printer nowadays. Yeah, it has a multicolor, multi-material uh, unit sitting on top, which I'm going to cover a little bit later. It has a ceramic heat throat, so pushing out the filaments won't be that much of a problem. I didn't encounter any of those problems on my unit. There is also a lot of connectivity, which I'm also going to cover a little bit later. A nice flip away display. I am very happy with the things that I have seen during printing and using this 3D printer. I did see some nice results, some good, some bad, and some uglies as well, because hey, sometimes those things happen. The door, like mentioned, it's a plastic door. You can see right through what the printer is doing. If you don't have the Ace Pro unit sitting on top, you can also see from the top. There's a nice interior light so that you can see what the printer is doing. And there's also a reason why there is a light because in there is also a standard installed AI camera with spaghetti detection. And yes, it does work because if you enable the feature when uh, sending the print over using the maybe famous Anycubic Slicer Next software on your PC or laptop, or on your smartphone, you have to select every single time when you are sending a print over to the Anycubic Cobra S1 that you have to enable certain features. Standard selected is the, the leveling, but the other things like time-lapse, AI detection, uh, drying, there is a feature in here as well for actively drying the filament. And so you need to make sure to every time when you are sending a print over to your printer to select those features as well. Because I can imagine if you forget like what I did, forget select that feature like AI detection, it just continues and you will end up having a bump on your hot end, which I know all about. <laughs> it's, it's crazy. But anyways, it's a nice machine where a AI camera is standard installed on, unlike some other brands, which I'm not going to mention. AI or cameras, stuff like that nowadays, it should be a thing that is pre-installed. The Ace Pro unit, you can go for standard, just only the Cobra S1. You can also get one with four colors and you can get one with four colors. Now, the thing is, if you are going to order with eight colors in total, you need to have an additional hub in order to use the two units together. Because I asked, like mentioned before, uh, geekbuying.com if they could send me two Ace Pro units so that I can print things in eight colors. This Ace Pro unit is just like with some other brands sitting inside of this 3D printer which you can then take out and then set it up as it is. If you are going for an additional one, so a eight color unit, you need to have an adapter. How does it work? Now, to start with, this is my setup right over here. Unlike with some other brands going out one PTFE tube into the, uh, into the a hub uh, sitting on the backside of the printer and then feeding the direct drive extruder, Anycubic thought about something else. They have here the built-in filament buffer that basically works like this. I'll, I'll show you in a B-roll how that looks like. And then four PTFE tubes going into the filament hub or the 
multicolor hub, or I don't know how they call it. And it, it's looking like this. This is the four to one variant. But if you are going for eight colors, you need to have four extra ports in order to connect eight colors to one printer. Yes, exactly that. I don't know how it works with the website anycubic.com if you are purchasing there uh, this set. From Geek Buying, I only got in the additional Ace Pro box, I got only this one. And there is a wire here that is going inside of the printer. So this is a filament detection, it's, it's right in here. So you feed the PTFE tubes right in there. And, and it is working great for four different colors, but not with eight. So if you are going for the eight color option, I know that any cubic will send one together, but I don't have any experience in that. This one has an additional power outlet needed. It's right here with an on-off switch. And so this one gets external power. You need to have an extra socket free for your unit. So if you go for two units, you have three cables from the printer and two from the box going into your uh, extension cord. Why would they do that? Well, that brings me to the, another cool feature of this box. It has an active drying feature. Well, you don't see any display on here, but on screen and also on the PC, you can see where the temps are at and how long that it needs to be dried. But like mentioned, it has an actively drying feature. So when you are going to print some very humidity sensitive materials, you can take it from your filament box. I take here the Polymaker filament box. This is a Polyterra, of course, and it's uh, nicely vacuum sealed. Still didn't puncture a hole in it. It's meant to be. But if you are using materials that are very uh, sensitive for moist, then you can put it directly here in the box. There's some silica gel in there, but there is also an active drying that is possible. It's for all of the four uh, spools. I don't know how that exactly works. I'm printing mainly in PLA and PEG. In this case, I have loaded up all PEG filaments. I have done that for the uh, favor of the Death Racer, but also some other prints that I was thinking about to do in PEG. G. So PLA prints will come up uh, very soon. Maybe using this printer, maybe another one, because there's another printer that I still need to do some more testing on. Maybe you see it on screen, maybe you don't, but hey, that's okay. So the Ace Pro unit, very nice, very cool. I had some little thoughts and ideas about it when unboxing this during the live stream. I also will recommend you, if you are going to buy the Anycubic Cobra S1 combo, Make sure to, uh, to read the instructions before unboxing everything, because I had some little issues while setting it up. I scanned the QR code with my Anycubic app on the phone. It didn't mind, I had some other issues as well. Through some workarounds, I did get this printer connected to my Wi-Fi. I could not really send prints over, but during the time that I had this printer on, it took some updates. And I think you also saw the video uh, where I made some little remarks when having this three printer. So basically this is my second video about the Anycubic Cobra S1. So in the time it did some, do some updates, uh, fully up-to-date uh, firmware on this machine. And I can tell you after that, I could bind this 3D printer to the Anycubic app, environment, cloud, whatever it's called. And since then I could send prints directly over from the Anycubic Slicer Next app on my desktop directly to this 3D printer. And I can tell you, it is working great. I have also some screenshots. If the AI filament detection or AI uh, spaghetti detection is noticing something, you will get a little message popping up on your PC or laptop. And you can take some actions if you want to. It pauses automatically, so it doesn't keep printing. So no filament waste there. However, because this is a multicolor, multi-material 3D printer, there's a poop shoot on the backside. I didn't print any poop shoot or any other stuff to collect all the uh, filament waste. It's somewhere behind the shelf. I'm not going to tell you where, where it exactly is. Maybe you will see it, I don't know. The Anycubic Cobra S1. What do I think about this 3D printer? I don't know what the price range is. You will see it right here, what the price is on geekbind.com and on the anycubic.com store. It's a, it's a great machine. It's It's fully enclosed, all plastic panels. Like mentioned, the door, it's not made of out of glass. You can smash the door without breaking it. The screen, you can flip it up and you can flip it down. I think it's a cool feature. Necessary? Not really, but it can be a cool feature if you're looking for something like that. Also here on the left side, there is a USB port, USB type A port. It comes with a USB thumb drive, very handy if you are using, for example, Orca Slicer 
as Slicer for this 3D printer because there is a profile on Orca Slicer where you can use Orca Slicer instead of the Anycubic Slicer Next app, program, software, whatever. So you can manually transfer the files from your desktop to this 3D printer. There is only one thing that you need to do, making sure that your um, filament settings are transferred to, or the colors are transferred to the right slots as well. So just use the screen, I, I'll show you how it looks like, and then uh, you, know, you can start printing. I didn't have any problems there. I could use uh, Orca Slicer for this 3D printer, and I hope it will be a little bit more open that you can send prints, just like with the, the Creality K1, just send it directly over from Orca Slicer to the Anycubic Cobra S1. Amazing, just a little thing that the way they did it with the PTFE tubes four out into the filament hub sensor, I wish they sent with the additional box directly in there, a four color unit or an eight color unit, so that people have the choice when they are going for the eight color that they can use it directly. Like with other brands, they are going from one PTFE tube into the machine. And so you have a filament hub that basically looks like this with a buffer built in. The buffer is in here, like you could see that I was pulling on one of the PTFE tubes and then it's uh, flexes a little bit. So great when retractions and other things happen. But in this case, uh, it's it's just four tubes in, one tube out. I wish I had seen something there. If you are going to unbox this 3D printer, I am used to pull the bag out. There's on top of your box, if you are going to unbox it, there's an instruction sheet how to handle this printer, uh, take the lid off and then lift the printer out of the box. You can also use this printer as a single color, single material printer. This on the back side, there is a space for one spool holder. You can screw it in and then put it directly into the printer and just only using one power cord instead of two or maybe three. Anyways, my thoughts and ideas about this 3D printer. Uh, it's what I think, it's what I have encountered. The prints, however, how they came out, not too much of a big deal. Uh, they are looking great. I printed parts for the Death Racer. It's looking amazing. I can show you now. Of course, not TPU because within this setup, a uh, single filament into the direct drive extruder will work for the TPU. Uh, the whole um, driver is printed on the Anycubic, also some other parts. Then I also printed uh, a Banshee. It came out very nice, no big remarks as only, and that is a other highlight that I need to tell you all about, well, all about using Anycubic Slicer Next software. This Banshee is printed in single color. Now, they advertise that you can print a Banshee within 15 minutes on this 3D printer. However, if you are printing like, at, like I have it now, in their slicer, there are not really preset settings going for 0 0.20 uh, standard or 0 0.20 optimal or 0 0.20 speed. All profiles are there as a standard. So you need to figure it out for yourself how to get this 3D printer faster. The only way to do that, or if you only can slice it, is through the menu. There is an option to set it from normal into sport mode. It is going a little bit faster, and I have done that with some multicolor prints. Because if I'm going to print this Banshee in four colors on this one with the PET G filament in there, this 15 minute Banshee will take 15 hours. A lot of filament waste, a lot of other things, and Sorry, I don't like to waste a lot of filament. Yeah, there are some flashing models that you can use as well. But hey, this is an honest review what I think about this 3D printer. As it works, it works, no flaws whatsoever. This is a normal standard mode and it is looking amazing. No artifacts, no defects, no, no weird things that I think like, hey, this, this is not, not good enough. Then I went for a multicolor option. The way I do this is in layers. So one color, second color, third color, and so forth. I don't want to do mixing colors on several layers because that produces a lot of filament changes and also a lot of filament waste. I will do that maybe in the future, but not for now because it's taking way too much time. And if this Banshee has four colors and taking 15 hours, yes, I can print something. You will see it in a YouTube short probably in the future. I don't know. But anyways, I've got here a nice little new subscribe. It's not a hint, right? It's not a hint. But this one I did uh, two years ago on the Bumble Labs P1S, but I ran out of the red, so it changed this over to purple because that is a feature. This 3D printer has the same kind of backup feature, but with all other things, you need to select it and also make sure to have the right filament in there as well. I made a new subscribe logo 
you know what to do. Um, so this one, uh, I changed the, uh, the speed from normal into sport, and I don't see any problem in that. It kind of looks like this is a translucent thread, but it looks like there is text on the side, but there is not. There's not, it's all black, but it is looking amazing. Then I got also some, some new things that I need to do in order to highlight the patron supporters and the YouTube channel members, because you can also do that if you would like to. Another way to support this channel is by, you know, in liking this video, maybe share if you would like. And then I've got here one YouTube member, Montana Maker. Thank you so much for your amazing support through YouTube. And then also some other supporters on the patron side, which is Nonstick and Simon Snow. Black and red. This is YouTube, this is Patreon. They are going on the wall here. So great, thanks. And I need to say like, just here with three colors, a little bit of strings, but other than that, it is looking fabulous. Look at this. This is this is very nice. Not a lot of filament waste, only during one time of change. I think it's great for the decency. Looks nice. Well done, uh, Anycubic. The Cobra S1 combo. Four colors, Quartz Y, fully enclosed, active dryer while printing. What more do you want? Hey, if you made it this far in this video, you are amazing. Um, if you didn't, then you know what to do or what you can do. Visit geekbuying.com. I've got also a little ad you can also watch after this video. And uh, let me know in the comments, what do you think about the Anycubic Cobra S1? Are you thinking about it to buy one or let me know in the comments, what do you think about this 3D print? This is the Anycubic Cobra S1 combo sent by geekbuying.com. They sent it to me for here on the channel to review and do other crazy stuff with it. Or maybe not, I don't know. But anyways, if you are going to geekbuying.com, you find not only 3D printers, but everything that is a little bit fun, handy, making it your life easier and other geek or nerdy stuff. But you don't have to be a geek or a nerd. Just go and visit geekbuying.com and check out all the categories that they have. Vacuum cleaners, they have bicycles, they have tablets, they have laptops, they have a lot of stuff. Go and visit geekbuying.com and find out what they all have. It will be surprising you.